Rachel, first league game this Sunday. How, how's pre-season been and how much are you looking forward to the, the season getting underway? Yeah, pre-season's been going really well. Um, went over to Gran Canaria, obviously, and we had a good uh, week there. Um, everyone's looking sharp, I think, from day one. It didn't even look like we had a break. Um, but yeah, we're all really excited for Sunday. I'm excited, um, so it should be good. The thing is, this year you've got the experience of, of having the success, those two cup wins last season. How much does that give you the hunger to, to want more? Yeah, well, we've had a taste of it and we want it again, but we want even better. Um, we want that league and we want to go back to back in the cup. So we, we know our goals um, and we're not going to stop until we, we achieve them. Everybody's talking about the women's game, particularly this week after the, the Euros win for England. When you see that that crowd and the, the appetite for the women's game, I think I'm right in saying that was a record Euros final crowd across the men's or the, the women's yeah. game. It's pretty incredible. That that yeah. must make you feel really encouraged. Yeah, it's incredible. It's it's a goosebumps moment, to be to be honest. Um, it was incredible to see the, the attention the women's game's getting at the moment. Um, so yeah, I, th I think it'll be incredible for women's football in the UK. How, how much do you hope that that um, transfers into into supporters coming coming along to see you? Yeah, uh, hopefully it does. Um, it's the fans are a big part of how we play on the pitch, and the more there are, then the better we play. Um, for example, is the cup finals. The amount of Celtic fans were there and um, really pushed us to the end. Um, so I think it's important that as many people come and watch as possible. Yeah, obviously fans can now purchase a season ticket for, for the women's game and we'd obviously encourage as many of them to do that as possible. H how much does it make a difference t to you to see not just the numbers but, but the consistent faces every every week? Yeah, no, it's really important. Um, after the game when we have a look over and there's young girls asking for autograph and stuff, it's, it's a proud moment. Um, so yeah, the more the more we get, the better. Um, so hopefully we get a good crowd this season. Do, do you get the feeling that the women's game is on the cusp of of something special? Definitely, I think we're we've come at a good time, and um, I'm really excited for the future. And I think that women's football is going to be on the up um, for the next wee while. Of course, you can't forget the women who have you know trailblazed for the sport over the yeah. last few decades and, and have perhaps you know left the game but but now and you see the role models yeah. aspect of the game and, and and essentially you are one of them do, do you feel that um i don't feel that at the moment um because i still look up to the players in our squad for example kelly um chloe craig and caitlin and all that um but yeah i think the game's on the up um and i'm i'm at a good stage right now um in that i'm quite young um and the game is is getting there Obviously, we can sense that, you, that you're positive and everyone's positive after after last season. As a group, have you spoken about the season ahead in terms of what, what your, your goals are? Yeah, um, we've talked in Grand Canary, we spoke about um, our goals off the pitch as well as on the pitch um, in terms of like behaviour, like the values that um, Fran expects from us. Um, but I think we all are pretty clear in what we want. Um, we want to be back in Champions League. Um, we want to win cups, win the league. Like we all know what we want to do, and like I said, we're not going to stop until we do get that.